I'm Jen. My name's Rachel. Welcome to our channel. We are Whiskey Geeks. Not Whiskey Snobs. So if you like all things whiskey. And you're not a sob. Subscribe! subscribe. Like Dave Fifaif did. Andy. <laughs> I'm Jen. My name's Rachel. Welcome to our channel. We are Whiskey Geeks. Not Whiskey Snobs. So if you like all things whiskey. And you're not a snob. Subscribe! Like Andy Fee Fife did. Hey! <laughs> so we had uh, Andy Fee Fife in the shop yeah, today. Yeah. It was great. Just, just like an hour ago. Yeah, yeah. he just popped in um, and was like, I like your channel. And we were like, that's great. Awesome. Awesome. So we chatted about him. About him? We chatted, oh, no, we chatted to him. To him. <laughs> About whiskey. whiskey for a while, which was good fun, and his long-suffering partner was there. Um, she tried some gins. She did, she did, um, and he bought her some gin as well, which is very nice. But he also bought a bottle of whiskey, which he opened and let us take a sample of. How nice! Yeah, yeah, it was great. It was great to meet yeah, more people yeah, who are like fun. Yeah, tasting along and wanting and to share. And he said he's not a whiskey snob, but he likes all things whiskey. No whiskey snob, like ee! Hey! So good crack. So he bought a Craig Elkie. From North Star, yep. which we've not opened and tried yet, nope, but nope. we've not even had a smell of it yet. We thought um, we'd wait until we get the genuine reaction. And Andy has the bottle, so we're hoping he's tasting along with us. Yes, as well. cheers if you are. Um, slange, slange. We normally do that before we taste, taste it, but we can do both. Not before we <laughs> smell. It's just such an occasion, isn't it? Oh. They had good tasting notes as they always do in our star or this. That smells creamy and coffee-ish. Yep. Uh, quite fruity though, like quite um, like cotton candy. Oh yeah. We, I don't think I get fruity yet. It's quite sherry. It's le leathery. Oh, I'm not getting leathery at all. I'm getting like cotton candy grapes rubbed on leather. I don't get the leather. I get what you mean about the cotton candy grapes. Like an old, like no, it's not. It's not quite like new leather, but it's not. It's not really old leather. But not either. like skin. It's not like skin. <laughs> I mostly get like creamy and coffee. Oh, I've I have kind of peachy, like peaches and cream. Rhubarb. I don't get rhubarb. Rhubarb. I like the rhubarb and cream. Get like a tangy, a yeah, tangy, tangy maybe, yeah. Maybe like plums or something. Yeah, plums definitely get that. Like fruity, it's definitely, it's a sherry cask. I think mm -hmm. it's just a single cask. I can't I think remember. it's a hogshead. Is it, right? Yeah. We can check. We know how many bottlings we've got and we've got their tasting notes, but we're not looking at that until after we yeah. have tasted it. So yeah. it's influences. It's cask strength as well, but I actually don't know of what... Percent. Oh, I don't know. We haven't checked that one. I think we've it's got... 58 point something. Is it? I think. I think you're right. It smells so creamy though. Really creamy, yeah. You're getting more of like the dark creamy notes, I'm getting more of the like the yeah, lighter Yeah, yeah, I'm getting more like toffee, coffee. I'm getting toffee now, you've said, like I'm getting the coffee a bit. There's a <clears> wee <throat> slight, like, like a minty butterscotch. What would a minty butterscotch oh, be? Oh, yeah. I don't know, a minty butterscotch, mm. I feel like. like Is that a, like a... Like a mint, hum, no humbugs are the black and ah, white ones. They're um, not mint. They're not butterscotchy, are they? There is a, there is one that is minty. Yeah, yeah, that's though. what I'm getting. What is that one called? I can't remember. Somebody tell us. Tell us in the yeah. comments. I can't remember what that is. I was about to say it's not a Witherspoon's original, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a Worthington. Worthingtons. Worthington. Worth. Worth. Worthers. Worthers original, original. but they're not minty. No, they're not meant to. Unless at all. you have them out somebody's handbag that's had also some Mint Imperials in there, which I have had before. I was going to say that's not my like bag because I wouldn't have the Mint Imperials. From experience. Because <laughs> I wouldn't have the Mint Imperials. No. Um, somebody had commented on the, on the one of our previous videos on the demise of my orange that was at the side of the bed. Oh. <laughs> I did temporarily. I think I put in the comments I did temporarily have an onion there, but I had to make soup so it's moved now. <laughs> it's bad. Anyway, whiskey. <laughs> right, right. Challenge, Slange. 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 Mm. 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 Oh, mm. that's nice. It's got a heat to it. Mm -hmm. But it's really good. Initially, though, so sweet. 
like really, really initially, that Meringue. was. Sorry, I had to say it. Oh! Meringue. oh. Just what I remember. Continue. On the finish. On the finish, Meringue. Mm. Initially, to me, that was almost like um, like a Grand Marnie or like a dessert wine. I don't think I've ever tried a Grand Marnie. Like Cointreau. Type. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm hmm. I think Grand Marnie is a bit like syrupy sweeter. Okay. Um, yeah, definitely. It's really, uh, really sweet. Oh, I'm glad I like it. I was worried I wasn't oh, going to. Oh, I know. To. That's lovely. It's, I love the heat to it as well. It's, it's really warming. Heat all the way down, yeah. Like, not harsh, but really warming. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, have some more. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's so sweet. It's mm. so sweet. Sweet and, like, raspberries and cranberries. Mm, cranberries. Mm. Yeah, like, um, dried cranberries. Yeah, because it's got a, wee, a teeny wee bitter not, but not, mm. like, a huge amount. Oh, that is good. And then, like, sugar. It is like burnt sugar. Yeah, yeah. It's like like a spicy peach syrup. Yes, that's a really good one. Yeah. Like if you put chilies in the syrup out of peach tin. Oh yeah. Mm. I want to do that now. I know. I know. That's lovely. lovely. Yeah. Um, oh, that's so good. A peach and chili gin liqueur. Mm. A peach and jelly mm. rum would be great. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So this is from Craig Ellicky Distillery. Yes. Um, which is a space side. So I guess that's kind of. I tried a. I think I've only tried the Craig Ellicky 13 actually and wasn't that fussed for it. I found it quite. So that's the only one you can get standardly from them, is it? They standardly. Must, standardly. Yeah, average-ly. I think so. Do you know, I think I might have tried some Douglas Lang ones. I possibly. think I will have as well, yeah. I've always find, found them a little bit nothingy. Mm -hmm, I maybe mm -hmm. not appreciated the subtleties of it though. I'm the same. I think it is meant to be a lighter spirit as well, mm -hmm, which, mm -hmm. which is not usually your. Cup not of, usually my cup of tea most no. of the time, but that's lovely and thick. Much nicer. I think uh, cash strength. I've not tried it. I'm, mm. I don't think I've tried it cash strength. No, I don't think so. Either. And um, North Star Shared. as well. Sherry as well. Yeah, but North Star. North Star are great. So they are um, a Glasgow based company, aren't they? Uh, Loch Lomond. Loch Lomond. Loch Lomond. So yes, was Glasgow's their nearest city. And but. Oh, you're on your oh, own. Very, very oh. exciting though. They've got a new distillery in the planning. Expanding, which is cool. Yeah, in Campbelltown of all places yep. as well. Yep. So very cool. That's exciting. And so they've got new distillery in Campbelltown. They've also got new like expressions or ranges of whiskey they're doing. Yeah, so they well they did the South Star yep. to kind of celebrate the founding of now what's Dalriata. That's what it's called, the new distillery. Dalriata. Well remembered. Um so Tasting notes? Do you want me to? Yeah, see what their official do you want tasting to do notes any more are. Last bits at some. No, I think fruity, peachy, chili and peach syrup. Really little fruity. Little bit of coffee, little bit of cranberry. Yeah. I feel like more and more fruity the more I smell it. Mm. Should we try with water? I've not tried mm. with water. Just we to probably should actually. Bit. Sorry, I've got the water at my ear as well. You're in charge of the water. I'm just withholding. Thank you. That is a lot lighter with water. I'm finding it like juicier. I find it light and airier. Okay. Oh, I've got more of the sweetness coming through now. I think it's like juicy, like juicy fruit. Mmm. Oh, it's so soft now. I think I prefer it, the smell of it after water, but the taste before water. Tasting notes. Yes. And how many bottles as well was it? And, um, and what is so... the APV? <laughs> Holy questions. 58%. Okay, I did get, I said 58 point something. So um, it's 14 year old. We knew that, but we yep. just didn't mention it. And it's 195. And it's at 195 bottles. So, I'm really tempted by this one now. This is lovely. lovely. Really would not have been tempted before, considering what I've thought of Creality before. Mm -hmm. um, I've probably not given it a fair chance, to be fair. Uh, so this was distilled August 20, 2006. Yep. Um, finished in an Oloroso hog's head. Um, and matured total for 14 years. Um, so, tasting notes. Rhubarb crumble, did you read that? I knew one oh, of them had rhubarb. Oh, you did. And in my head I was like, I don't know if it's this one or they're Dalyu I was like, one of them has rhubarb oh, and I can smell rhubarb. Oh, really? So that's really that. good. We should check what the Dalyu is just for fun. Maybe if that's I'm right, more yeah. tempted with the Dalyu actually. Mm. Uh, raisin. Definitely raisin -y, definitely. Pears in syrup. You got peaches. I said peaches, peaches in syrup. Yeah. Palette, fudge, mm -hmm. so fudgy, yep, yep. it's so Toffee fudgy. Fudge, yep. uh, vanilla tablet rolled in coconut. Oh, oh, where's the coconut? Oh, I can oh. see it a wee bit. I smell it a wee bit. Desiccated coconut, maybe toasted desiccated coconut. Mm. Um, finish. 
Fruit cake with butterscotch marmalade. Mmm. You said minty butterscotch. I said minty butterscotch. And fruit cake, yeah, definitely raisiny. Very I pretty. definitely get pear, uh, pears and syrup, but I would have said peaches and chilli syrup. Yeah, I think that's a really good description yeah, for it. Yeah. Blue barber get totally on the nose though. On the nose though? Yeah, on the nose though. Yeah. I, I don't know. I suppose it's tangy. got the tartness, the tangy it's like tartness. It's tangy sweet. Thank you so much, Andy, for Yeah, that, that was amazing. Great. I hope you enjoy it as much as we enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for that. And if you, if anyone is near the shop, please pop in. And if you can't do that, you can join our virtual tastings and come drink yes. with us as well in that form. Because um, we love all the whiskey chat. It's just great. Yeah, so yeah, definitely. Pop in. Great to see you. And join us again next time. Um, if you've enjoyed this and you want more, subscribe down here. Uh, join us again for our next video and see you next time. Slange. Slange. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time. Slange. Names are hard. I'm not good with names and faces. Oh, it's such a... It, like, I mean, uh, loads of people are called Andy. And loads That's of people a very are problem, Dave. though. It looked like a Dave or an Andy. I would have... I would even pass him a Paul. more of a Dave. Yeah, he could have been a Paul, too. Would've. Yeah.